Hey yo, it's Void Hunt Geo3 here. Today, I wanted to show you one of the most fun loadouts possible in Titanfall 2, the L-Star and the Hollow Pilot. Both together, uh, I wouldn't exactly bring it into live fire, but for attrition, pilot versus pilot, and especially bounty hunt, it really slaps nice. So the name of the game here is going to be Confusion, right? No one expects the L-Star, no one expects the Hollow Pilot, and no one most certainly expects the Spanish Inquisition. But that's just the sort of damage you'll be dealing out to your enemies as you chunk them up and Hollow Pilot all over their smeared bits. The point here is that it's a really, really fun loadout. So let's get into how you can turn your memes into the dream loadout with the L-Star Hollow Pilot combo. First off, we need to establish how Hollow Pilot is actually going to be used successfully. The first thing you'll notice when using the Hollow Pilot is you actually get two separate decoy charges. The Hollow Pilot is a primarily preemptive ability you see, much similar to the Pulse Blade. It's best used in anticipation of an enemy. With a general idea of where the enemy is and the path you'll take to meet them, you'll pop those hollow pellets as you go. If you wait for it until you actually see the enemy pilot before using it, the purpose of the hollow pilot is largely defeated as the enemy pilot sees you decoy and can immediately work out who is who. However, you don't necessarily have to or even want to go in the direction of your hollow pilot all the time. This helps sow confusion by not always being nearby just because your hollow pilot is. The vast majority of the player base, from mediocre to skilled, will shoot your hollow pilot on sight the first few times when they see it before they are prompted to begin second guessing the decoys. This is done almost exclusively through the behavior of these hollow pilot decoys. Decoys can only go in one straight direction, so if they see two or three pilots with the same name and one of them is erratically mashing AD AD, or some other such nonsense, it doesn't take a panel of scientists to figure out who's who. Instead, travel in the same general direction as your hollow pilots, and cast them while you're in the middle of an act like wall running, so they better simulate a real pilot while you yourself act roughly like a decoy. If you've ever played one of those Assassin's Creed multiplayer games where you have to pretend to be an NPC, it's a lot like that. The Hollow Pilot Tactical mainly serves as a playstyle disruptor for the enemy team. A lot of pilots, myself included, become accustomed to detecting enemy pilots amidst the chaos of attrition or bounty hunt, and because Hollow Pilot is so rarely used or used effectively, the thought that the pilot they detect is just a decoy isn't even a factor until you've made your illusionist presence known. Now, if you are using Hollow Pilot correctly, they will be forced to begin second guessing either you or nearly every enemy pilot they come across that isn't obviously a human player, depending on their skill. Your team, however, will not have this issue and can comfortably shoot any pilot they see without hesitation. This can serve as a rudimentary force multiplier for your team in those situations where both teams are evenly skilled. Therefore, the effect Hollow Pilot has on the enemy team changes as the match progresses, as they go from constantly shooting your Hollow Pilots to briefly beginning to analyze them to see if they're real or not. Once this happens, you can then use your Hollow Pilots more erratically, while you yourself keep a low profile to catch enemies off guard as they come to expect you to be keeping overwatch over your decoys rather than pretending to be one. Naturally, this doesn't work at the start of the match because they won't even realize you have decoys to begin with and will just assume you're a confused player and therefore an easy kill. This requirement to be able to read and adjust to your enemy's reaction to your hollow pilots is what makes it so fun, but also so challenging to pull off consistently until you're more familiar with how to make your decoys more pilot-like by casting them mid-action. The reason for all of this creativity is to make up for the L-Star's biggest flaw. It has a sci-fi open bolt delay that prevents you from immediately firing as you would with other weapons. This delay, combined with the travel time of your plasma shots, 
makes it difficult to win a straight 1v1 as other guns will be shooting first, on solo style, and while you'd easily outdamage them, warrior streams of death able to flow, by the time your shots connect, they've often already done too much damage for you to make up a difference. Enter the Hollow Pilot L Star Synergy. Even if it only takes them a split second to shoot the decoy, realize it's not actually you, and readjust their sights, that's more than enough time to get the L Star pumping mad deeps and liquefying them for their troubles. The natural hesitation Hollow Pilot instills goes perfectly with this trigger delay, as once you actually start shooting, it becomes painfully obvious which pilot is real. Fortunately, by then, it should already be far too late for them. The L Star's tongue to kill, once the shots make contact, is insane regardless of range, and each plasma shot has a very large hitbox. If an enemy is standing relatively still, even at long range, your L Star burst will do the trick almost always before they can react, provided you do not see the particle stream coming or so happen to move before it connects. Furthermore, much like the car, the L-Star retains solid accuracy regardless of what you're doing. So you can further make up for the open bolt delay by using this large hitbox size to make up for the eccentric movements that would normally throw off the aim of both parties equally. In this sense, the L-Star is actually quite easy to use from a mechanical aim perspective, as you do not need to be as accurate with giant balls of plasma as you would tiny bullets but you must lead your target. The most effective loadout for the L-Star here is extended mag slash speed loader. The last thing you want your L-Star doing is overheating, but paradoxically, it's best used in the long bursts that explicitly cause this overheating issue. Extended mag keeps you from overheating just a bit longer, and speed loader downgrades the pain of reloading the L-Star from stepping on a Lego to a mere wasp sting. Still sucks, but at least it won't ruin your entire day. Unless, you know, you're allergic. This loadout is furthermore very effective at PvE. You can easily go through grunts, specters, and stalkers, and with the extended mag, you can down reapers in a single burst. An optimal playstyle for this loadout is moving towards the general direction of the enemy with your hollow pilots liquefying anything in your way while looking out for an enemy pilot shooting your decoy. In a panic, with a quick AD strafe, or just moving around your analog stick real fast, you can send out both decoys in different directions at nearly the exact same time. The decoys help prevent the concentration of firepower that makes it so difficult for the L-Star to take on multiple pilots at once. So what you're going to do here is when that decoy comes out, some weird group thing kicks in for the enemy pilots, and they all begin to start shooting the same decoy because they saw another pilot shoot at it first. This gives you plenty of time to liquefy their numbers down to size as they wrap their heads around your master illusion. But that's basically it really. It's just a very fun and creative loadout to help shake things up and give your sweat glams a momentary break. Unlike the next loadout, the Wingman Elite with Stem that will leave your sweat bucket filled to the brim. You can drop a comment down below for any loadout suggestions or questions and I will try to respond to them all the best I can. Stay perceptive, resourceful, and relentless pilots, and thanks for tuning in. This is Void Hunt Geo3, signing out. Have you been eating the cookie dough again? Why, is there still some on my face? No. Then no.